Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Counting Stars bracelet and this was designed by Heirlooms on Instagram. I'll have his name in the description box below and I'll bring uh, his account up here in just a second. First I want to show you this design. So it is a pretty nice design. I think you can do a lot of different um, color combinations with it. And the outside borders, which I use 300 pack bands for, um, I think this bracelet would look best with the 300 pack bands or at least with um, dual layer bands, but that's up to you. Anyway, I'll go ahead and bring up his profile. So this is his account, air.looms. Like I said, I'll have his name in the description box below. Um, but for now, you can scroll through his account, um, like his photos, and give him a follow for me. And we'll go ahead and get started. What you're going to want today oops, is a hook. I'm going to use my double ended hook here. You're also going to want a C-clip and some bands to I'm going to use three different colors, one for the center, one for the outside, and then one for these black bands. And we'll go ahead and start. So first you're going to want to create a an 8-loop setup in the outside band so I use blue silk for. Today I'm going to use this pink glitter. I start by capping a band and then pulling a band through lifting one of those cap band loops and then fishtailing two bands on. Then turn this around, take that off and grab the other loop, and now we're going to fishtail two more bands on. So you should have eight loops like this. Now what we're going to do is grab one of the center colors and here I used a blue sweets paradise. Today I'm going to use fuchsia. So I'm going to pull this through the first five loops and then I'm going to lift the outer three. So we're going to keep those middle two down there. Now what you're going to do is take your penguin black band color. I'm going to use glacier green or this teal dual layer. Pull this band through the first four loops, lift this first one, which should be your fuchsia, and then lift the third and the fourth, which are going to be those outer two border bands. Rearrange these outer two border bands here. Then cross this fifth band over the third and the fourth, like so. Then hold that there, and then take one of your border colors. Pull that through the first three loops and lift the outer one. Now turn this around and we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Make sure your bands stay in order. Take a glacier green band, pull this through the first four loops, lift the first, the third, and the fourth. Rearrange those outer two. Take this fifth band, cross it over the third and the fourth, and hold on to that so they don't slip. Take your border band through the first three, reclaim the outer one. You should have something like this. Also, if your border bands cross over like that, make sure to move them back out and pull on that outer band so that they don't do that. Now once you have this, you're going to take another fuchsia band, pull that through the first seven loops, and lift the outer three. So we're going to drop off those four middle bands, like so. Now we're going to start the process with the glacier green band, or start the process from here with the green band. Pull that through the first four, lift the first, the third, and the fifth, or sorry, first, third, and fourth. Rearrange that to the, rearrange the two border bands to the outside. Flip this green band, the teal band over top of the third and the fourth loops. Then take a border color through the first three, lift the outer one. Turn this around, take a teal band, through the first four, lift the first, the third, and the fourth. Rearrange 
the outer two, pull the fifth band over the third and the fourth, and hold that in place. Take a border band through the first three, reclaim the outer one. Now once you're at this point, you'll go ahead and take another fuchsia band. You're going to pull that through the first seven loops, and then you're going to lift these outer three. So again, dropping all four of those off in the middle. Now go ahead and take a glacier green band through the first four, lift one, three, and four, rearrange this to the outside, pull this band over, or pull the fifth band over the third and the fourth, grab a glitter band, pull that through the first three, lift the outer one, turn this around, take a glacier green band, through, oops, through the first four, that's the first, the third, and the fourth, rearrange the outer two, pull this green band, the fifth green band over the third and the fourth, then take a border band through the first three, lift the outer one. So you're going to do this until it's long enough to fit around your wrist and then I'll show you how to finish it off. So you're going to want to stop here when you finish it off. You'll take two last border color bands. Your first one is going to go through the first nine. You're going to pick up the second loop, which is the other half of this band here. Then you're going to skip those middle ones, pick up these two loops. So the third from last and then the last. Then rearrange this outer one. So you should have six loops on your hook now. Then pull one last band through all six of those loops and close. So that's what it should look like. It's just kind of a nice way to finish it off. And that's what it'll look like obviously at a full length. And then you can fiddle with these uh, penguin black bands if they're in the wrong places. But um, that's going to do it for now. So thank you for watching. Make sure to give it, or if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have Heirloom's name in the description box below. Make sure to check him out on Instagram, give him a follow for me, but that is going to do it for this video, and I hope to see you next time.